Falcons now own the rights to A.J. Terrell and Jeff Okuda, both for first round draft picks from the same draft. I'm extremely excited to play with someone of his caliber and um, I think we're gonna make a lot of plays together. We're definitely coming in with Okuda, same draft class and things like that. We definitely push each other a different way. The thing that jumps immediately out to me is how much deeper they are in the secondary. This is the first time I felt really good about the secondary yes. and what they look like. How would you explain AJ's playing style? It's really physical, technician, and I think he brings us a mentality that you know, defenses love to have. And a certain type of swagger that I think is contagious. Got similar playing style. We both, you know, sticky in coverage. Both take our job, you know, serious. And um, I just feel like we play with a chip on our shoulder. We're both young and we both just still hungry to, you know, get the job done. The Falcons have acquired cornerback Jeff Okuda in a trade from the Detroit Lions. Honestly, when I heard the news, I was, I was excited because I know that I'll be starting a new chapter of my career and one that, you know, with a fresh slate, letting the deck control the narrative. Just with this defense, you know, playing with some guys that I'm familiar with. You know, we have signed Jesse, we have AJ here, Richie. It's pretty exciting to be able to play with a group of guys that are real talented. I think that we're going to put each other. It's going to be competitive. But at the end of the day, we're going to bring the best out of each other. Fast forward all the way up to now, it's a whole new face. And I still had that, that dog that want to, you know, get better and help the team get to a Super Bowl. What have you been able to learn from AJ so far? Uh, just bringing it day in and day out, demanding the most out of yourself. I think he does a tremendous job of doing that. Hey, you trying to crash out, man. All the preparation, we good. Let's go, man. Let's go. So I would say when I come on the field every single time, I know there's no off days. You can't, you got to bring your A game uh, just to uphold what we're trying to build with this defense. I consider myself a leader, but it's a lot of stones that still left unturned as in going to the playoffs and, you know, getting my first playoff win and things like that. We got the right pieces in place we just gotta you know keep stacking each week what were your initial thoughts about working across from AJ during training camp and now during the regular season how can we push each other to become the best secondary let's get the most out of each other and let's let's hit the bar as high as we can and push each other every day to reach it but now we on the same track trying not to give up no catches and just taking our, our job serious but also having fun with it when we got into camp this year, we was like, we just, we just want to have some some energy, you know, some boost or whatever. All the DBs, we just got a handshake in. And it kind of all start the same way. Just let it start the same way, just uh -huh. have a different ending. Eventually, once we mastered the back end, then now let's go with the linebackers. Let's make some with the D-line. So once you just keep doing it in practice, yeah. it just carried over to the game. And it was just like muscle memory. The handshake I like that I have with somebody is Jesse's. Me and Jesse's okay. hard within the pull the mask down. Yeah. Be mad <laughs> with the DB ah! just trying to get picks and stuff like that. Good day, Mike Vine, sir. Nothing. You can see it on game day, you can see it on the field and at practice too, that y'all are feeding off of each other. What is it like to have someone next to you that you get to feed off of the entire game? I'm, I haven't been fortunate to have that 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 other corner across from me year after year after year. Just trying to build, you know, just building that chemistry. Like I said, we both young and we both just got a lot of juice left in the tank. Just trying to maximize it. So. Uh, me and him just competing with each other in practice is like, it's a good thing because, you know, we just want the best for each other and we both celebrate each other's accomplishments and stuff like that, you know, to keep things going and keeping each other here, right? Atlanta with the pressure. A.J. Terrell's going to pick it. How about that? Akongwo got blown up by Akuda. That's a great play by Jeff Akuda. Akuda comes up and blows the play up. It's A.J. Terrell with the pick. Ball goes up in the air, watch his eyes, play the hands, knock the ball away. Didn't even oh. look back. Didn't even look back. As the season moves forward, what's the goal for you two and this cornerback group? I really just take it one game at a time. Things that we say about each other that we feel that, that we can have potential to be a special tandem in this league. Of course, you know, to be the best in the, in the, in the league, you know, we doing that week in, week out. Out. Just got to keep doing, you know, what we're supposed to be doing and uh, just keep taking the preparation and everything serious. Do you think that you two are underrated for cornerback duo in this league? I don't think that's really our focus right now. Focus really just taking it one day at a time. I think when, when we get our respect, it'll be uh, well-deserved.